He is one of the most high-profile attorneys in Indiana. His client list is a who's who of people facing serious crimes. But while Jim Voiles may have a reputation for not talking during cases, he was happy to talk to us about his passion away from work. The Night Beat Scott Swan shows us a lawyer with a need for speed, a story you'll see only on 13. My favorite car is the car I'm in at the time. It's an impressive fleet of cars. Sleek, regal, and built for speed. And while you may not recognize the man behind the wheel, you would know him behind his clients. Yeah, it's me not talking to guys like you when I walk out of the court. That's all they see. <laughs> Jim Voiles represents the rich. Dominic Rhodes, Bob Knight, who's a friend. The powerful. Picture from uh, Little Al. The famous. That's uh, Jeff Harrod. Steve Jackson. A picture of my old friend, Mike Tyson. Right, Mike? Clients who often pay $600 an hour for legal advice, which begins with two simple words. Stop talking before you just rattle off all kinds of things out of a sense of excitement or a sense of whatever it is. Around the courtroom, Voiles has a reputation of practicing what he preaches. Don't do interviews. Don't do interviews. Don't talk to the media. Don't talk to the media. <laughs> but now, only on 13, Voiles is talking. Everybody wants to have their case dismissed. Everybody wants to be found not guilty. That's impractical. You guys got anything you'd like to say? He's opening up about his high-profile clients, his personal relationships with them, and why he fights so hard for them in court, like former Pacer Stephen Jackson. I first met Steve in the Pacer Piston Brawl, uh, and Steve was a, uh, a great client. I consider him one of my favorite clients. And Colts punter Pat McAfee. Alleged to have uh, done a little after-night swimming in the canal at Broad Ripple. When I first met him, I think the first thing he said to me is, my mother's going to be very ashamed of me. And that told me a lot about Pat. And Voiles doesn't mind discussing cases that did not go his way. I was disappointed with the Tyson verdict. Like the 1992 rape conviction of Mike Tyson. It was big news here in Indianapolis, and Voiles was at the center of it all. I think I was disappointed for Mike. I thought a lot of him, um, and still do. And, and so I, th I think I was just disappointed in that regard. Have you ever represented a client where you knew that person was guilty but represented them anyway? Of course. Yeah, uh, merely because the, you have a conversation with somebody uh, that they indicate that they may have some involvement doesn't preclude them from an absolute defense. When Voiles leaves the stress of the courtroom, there's nowhere he'd rather be than his garage. That's where his 1932 high boy hot rod is. Takes me back to my high school days. You'd have been the guy back in high school. If I had this, I would have. <laughs> Voiles has a couple of Porsches, including this 2005 Turbo. Car that has the most power in, in my collection. He owns a 1958 Bentley. I drive it downtown for dinner. Uh, if we just feel like taking a drive in it, we do. There's no air conditioning. And he's got a Ferrari. You know, I take it out in the evenings. I mean, when I get home, you know, got stuff on my mind, and it's a mind cleaner. Voyle says he never thinks about his cases on the road. The only thing in his mind is driving and going fast. So deep down, are you a gearhead? Complete. Complete. Look around Voyle's basement, and you'll see how much he loves racing and the men who drive fast for a living. This is the picture of, that Dario Franchitti gave me uh, after he won the 500. Voyle's love for auto racing began as a boy when he dreamed of becoming a racer. And I told my dad that I, you know, I thought about it and my dad says, He's, uh, you're going to law school, that's it. So that's what I did. During his law career, Voiles has represented a who's who of accused, downplaying his own success. What's the secret of being a successful defense attorney? Have no idea. <laughs> Have no idea. Now, at the age of 70, Voiles still puts in close to 90 hours a week, preparing cases for clients often facing heinous crimes. We're the attorneys for the misunderstood, and so I've always kind of carried that motto around. Driven to win in court, 
driven to get home fast. After all, look what's waiting in the garage. This has a lot of wonderful cars, and I buy what I like. And he likes what he drives. Jim Voiles currently represents Monserrati Shirley, the woman charged in the deadly Richmond Hill explosion. When I asked him about it, he referred me to his card. Since it's an ongoing case, Voiles has stopped talking. Scott Swan, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. On WTHR.com, you can hear what Voiles has to say about high-profile clients like Dr. Robert Little, Mike Tyson, Bill Simpson, and his thoughts on the Marjorie Jackson case.